Hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm Drew. And welcome back to FTL. Last time, uh, we fought this Zoltan cruiser and uh, got a nice little weapon for our troubles here. We have the Breach Bomb 2, so um, I went ahead and invested points in weaponry so we can handle having all three powered up at the same time. Um, and then later, we're going to get one more... And actually, what we could do is we could just do this. Um... Yeah, I think I think that's probably a good idea because they both use missiles, and we don't want them both popping out missiles all day long. Yeah, yeah, we'll burn through our missiles like, like water. Burn yeah. through them like water. Yes, burning <laughs> through water. Yes. Oh, nice. And we have a nice little condensed section that's gonna go ahead and lead us to, um, the exit quite nicely. That's nice. We'll or have options. We can see what's going on. That's cool. Or do we want do we want to go up? I'm a little worried because I don't know if uh, either of these can get as far. Yeah, I would go bottom. Um, okay. That, that's yeah, a safer bet. And, and there's more options, so yeah. we'll see what's down here. Go ahead. Do a little zigzagging. Yeah. Nice. Straight. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, straight up. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a power bar just because now we can have all of them. Um, so we can make the decision. The nice thing about the Leo is it does, um, it does, does charge uh, nice quick. Charge faster. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to get out of somewhere in a, in a jiffy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's just, just go thing. for it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, right off the bat, let's go ahead and pop that on their shields. Yeah. See what that does. Uh, one thing we should invest in soon, I think, is the second tier camera, since the breach bomb does do a lot of damage to personnel as well. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. want to know where they're at so we can drop that in the most strategic location. There you go. Uh -huh. Boom. Boom I'm going to follow up with that. And I'm going to go ahead and follow up with one, two... Can we get four out of it? No. Um, I think if you moved ahead. a little bit closer, you probably could. That? Yeah, so let's do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we are a fighting machine. Our our Zoltan shield is not down yet, so that's <laughs> we're yeah, let's just we're uh cooking. let's just let that the the missiles sit for now and then uh, just mm -hmm. laser them. Yep. There we go. Boosh. Nice and easy. Tell me how many how many humans you've killed. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's get uh, let's get that. The nice thing about these subsystems, I don't know if I've mentioned it already or not, um, but if we have the subsystems, they're automatically powered up. We don't have to worry about having more core power for those. So. Yeah, that is something that uh, I've noticed that is super nice. This is the first time I went to upgrade my uh, my cameras. I went and bought the camera and the power bar, and then had an extra power bar. Mm -hmm. But you know, power bars are never something that uh, is bad to have, definitely. Hmm, okay, so... Hmm. Bit of a problem here. We're going to take our breach missile, just like before. Go there, because I don't know... I don't know where they're heading. Okay, so, nice thing is, they sent somebody who's bad at repair. <laughs> um, so, when, when that breach bomb hits, we'll be able to do some do some pretty nice damage. Oh, now Ooh. they're they're switching around. Uh, so I actually want to take this breach and pop it there. Can you get now? No, no they, I can't. Uh... Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna surprise them a bit. <laughs> All right. All right. So I want to take this Lido and at least get get that out of there. Oh. Did we lose the charge on our breach bomb? Yeah. 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 I accidentally used it, and I believe it missed. Oh. Uh, so, uh, let's wait for the breach. I'm gonna set it right here and hurt that NG guy. Um. Oh, they just hit our cameras. Yeah, yeah. The good, the good thing is, the nice thing here, is it looks like. Um. Did that breach bomb miss again? I think we did. Hmm. Not uh, not digging that miss chance on the breach bomb there. Yeah. Oof. We might need to just. I'm gonna give it one more shot, and then, uh, then if that that doesn't work out, we're gonna mess with the Lido. 
Um, get that mantis out of there. You might want to close the doors and get him in the med bay. Yeah, here we go. Well, unfortunately, um, oh, we can do, we can do that. So we'll, we'll do that there. All right, we did just do some damage with that breach bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and get. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Yeah. Also, make sure to get some power in the med bay. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, because we have an we have an available power now, so we'll do that. Um, we might also want to take our human. Get yeah. Support in there. Um, it's the ship doesn't worry me. Um, the guys on board do. Mm-hmm. All right. So they 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 bounce back. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get our human back because we need that evade. Mm -hmm. Get the halber beam back in. Let's just take them out. Take out those weapons. Yeah, there we go. All right. Maybe they'll be, maybe they'll be less apt to mess with us. <laughs> oh. But, oh, we shouldn't have done that. We'll worry about repairing our ship afterwards. Someone's going to repair those shields. I just saw mm -hmm. someone uh, hop in there. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> and perfect. <clears throat> Done. All right, okay. So nice, nice bit of scrap there. Um, let's get these guys going over in here. Mantis, you can go back into where you were. Who's this guy? Nellis. Someone's gonna need to repair those blast doors as well. Yep. Yep. I'm sending. I'm sending that NG. That NG is gonna be my uh my powerhouse for repairing things. As he should be. Nellis already has a star. Good for him. Good on you, Nellis. <laughs> you chill out here, get some healing. Then you are a backup guy. Jones, we're gonna Jones. <laughs> an alien alien <laughs> with the name of Jones. Yeah, I've seen uh I've seen Mantis named Butters. Butters and uh another mantis named Notch. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. They put they put notch in here. Yup. Hmm. Foolish, Foolish meat, meat sacks. Meat sacks. Nice. Uh. Nice reference to uh, Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> or meat bag. Uh, so we're gonna have Mantis on our ship again soon. That's cool. Oh, did they just teleport into the shields? They did. They did. Everybody out. So. <laughs> Everybody out! Everybody move! You guys... I don't know if I told you yet. There we go. We're gonna do that. Um, we only have one shield for a bit. Let's get this breach guy going on their... Shields? Because the bombs, I don't think, are affected by the this drone... The anti-ship... Yeah, anti the, they, they teleport, so I would assume they're, they're not... Uh, get the Zoltan out of the weapons room. Oh, yeah. that's gonna... It's gonna be balls to our hit chance with that breach missile, but uh, it doesn't look like we got a choice. Did that missile go in? Nope. Nope. Missed. All right. Let's try it again. Let's also, uh, we can't with the Lido. Ugh. All right. Uh, get those Zoltans out the engine room. Yeah, we need to. We need to book. They're they're no match for. Corn chips, there's no place for a mighty warrior. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Um, they're gonna... Right. They're gonna go down soon, but uh, that ship is causing us no end of troubles. Well, once the, uh, once the Mantis are out, we can man the weapons again. Yep. Let's, uh, whoa! Oh! Right. That's not good. That's not good. They keep on ioning our shield. I can't do anything to them. Like right now, this is this is the uh, big downfall for. Um, Let's uh, get those guys into the med bay, repair our engines, and we might want to just jump out of here. Yeah, I think that that might be a thing. I'm gonna go ahead yeah, and have him. Yeah, we wanna we wanna jump a as soon as possible. Yep. All right, so let's get that. Alright, so we're charging up here. 
Oh, no. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. They're just making everything miserable for us. Let's try. Oh, their shield is down. Wait, their Halbert shield is them. down. I have not been paying attention. Um, let's <laughs> get their... Hmm. Get the weapons. Get what? Yeah, weapons out. There we go. Boom. All right. Uh, maybe we don't have to jump. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around on them. Um, should we? Should we Lido their weapons? Oh, that's right. The Lido will get intercepted by the drones. Hmm. So let's go ahead and do that. Um. Power down the Lido. Power up the Halber beam. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and send that right back across their hull. That should be that should be the end of them. It should, unless they can get their shields fixed. Who are you, Nellis? What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you just standing around for? All right. <laughs> Woo! That turned around right quick. Oh, augment shield charge booster. Ooh, that is so okay. So let's let's take a minute and talk about this here. Shield charge booster is going to boost the ship's shield recharge rate by fifteen percent. That's going to make us a, a veritable tank. Um, oh, that is nice. <laughs> yeah, we are going to need to. I'm thinking that our next um, set of upgrades, our next set of upgrades, I think, is going to have to deal with uh, getting that third and fourth uh, shields there because basically. At that point, when we have four shields, we're going to be pretty indestructible. Yeah, we'll be we'll be able to block the first couple salvos of missiles from the with the Zoltan shield, and then uh, we'll mm -hmm. get, have the regular shield to drop back on. Yep. So let's let's, let's answer this distress call. Actually, should we get the one below it first? We've got plenty of time. Oh. I actually made the jump. Sorry. Uh, um, that's cool. Okay, hold on one sec. Let's, let's assess the situation here as my dog prepares to stop barking. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all preparing? Just go! <laughs> um, okay, I'm... Uh, I don't know, um... No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh boy! <laughs> Ozil is not happy. He is not. Viewers, 10 points if you know what the name Ozil is from. Alright, uh, just go ahead and halberd their O2 to their, uh, to their weapon yeah. systems. Yeah, I'm really, yeah, I'm really thinking to just go straight across there, that should be enough. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> that set them into a panic right quick. Yeah, they're, they're like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> they, they, they did, they did a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Oh boy! Ooh! Mm -hmm. Oh, do they have a three-power laser on that thing? Uh, yeah, looks like we might just want to end this now. Seven missiles, two drone parts, and nineteen that, scraps. That's not a bad deal. Uh, any day of the week. Yeah. And if Although... they if they fire that uh, that laser again, that is going to do some serious hull damage. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and take it. I don't know, we, I, I bet you we could have gotten it, but oh well. Let's see. All right, we're going to hit this exit. Hopefully, uh, that guy up top will be a store. I can definitely... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we got a hull beam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the hull beam is... Um, that uh, is just like the halberd beam, except the nice thing about the hull beam, and let's go back in here, um, you'll see that it has two, da uh, two times damage on systemless rooms, so it'll do one damage per hit, but then if you uh, use it on a systemless room, it will do too. So, I don't hmm. know if we're going to use it, but um, yeah, that's fair. It it's a nice, um, much quicker recharge option for doing hull damage than the the halberd. Yeah, exactly. If we just need so. to finish it up real quick. All right. So mm -hmm. that guy is not a store, but we're still going to go ahead and see what he is. Yeah, that's just a, we got we got time for one more. Hmm. I do want to get that storage, but... Those three shields, three. that is... who that's going to be tricky to get around. But you don't win with... You don't win with no, uh... Without trying, so... This right, is right true. Right quick, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... They don't have any... 
uh, missile defense drones, so I'm going to go ahead and Lido and Breach, uh, because we did pick up a fair uh, fair amount of... Yeah, we do have a decent amount of missiles there. Mm -hmm, but you'll see those drones, drones already... They're making short work of... Oh, that's nice. Just miss Lido. Yep. Right when oh, we need boy. you the most. Um, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and... Because I need those shields up, I'm going to go ahead and send the Mantis in. <laughs> Put out the fire. Breach, you can't, you can't miss. You better not miss. All right, cool. Yeah, Albert. all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of their weaponry. I don't care about the rest of the shields and whatnot. I'm going to see if I can't get all three of them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all three of them. Uh, it doesn't look like you can... Well, maybe. That might do it, actually. Ooh, yep, yeah, that did. that did it. Awesome. So, uh, on that note, I'm also going to just take this out because they do have a beam that I don't think we can get past us. Uh, so, but, but I do want to get rid of that stupid those drones. Stupid drone. Oh man. Oh no. Not good enough. All right. Oh, we gotta get. Why don't you uh, power down the breach and then um, put up the hull beam? Yeah, yeah, why not? That's actually uh, that's a good, solid plan. Alright, so now he can't, he basically can't hurt us, so that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys over to repairing the med bay. You too. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get the oxygen out of this to take care of that fire. So, let's see what that does. And we're gonna fire right across there. Uh, we're gonna fire the whole beam. Um, yep. Or okay. We'll do that. Whew. <laughs> all right. Close all doors. All right. That was a little hairy. Ooh, thirty-six scrap and, and heavy laser there. mark one. Yeah. This is this is what I want here. Let's uh let's do this. Yeah. Okay. So heavy laser mark one. This is this is the powered down version of the what you start off off with um in in, uh, what's it called? In the human ship. Mm. But I'm going to go ahead and switch Heavy Laser Mark 1, and I'm actually going to go ahead and put that over there by the Lido. By where the Lido. This is, requires one power. does one damage, but the thing is, it does affect shields. So what I can do is, if, um, if you're good with using the hotkeys there, as opposed to... Um, clicking you know, on the bar. Yeah, clicking on the bar there. I don't know why I can't... Well, I'm not thinking today. Um, oh, ooh, yeah, sure. Um, if you were if you're using those, what you can do is you can fire um, and then quickly pause, and then once all the you know once all three of the ships um, shields go down, or once all the all the shields go down, you can then sneak the halberd beam in there. So yeah, that sounds nice. Uh, that is a heavy laser, though, not a burst laser. <gasps> Cloaking! Yep, that's happening right now. And then um, we can fix as much as we can. We can't fix it all, but... Uh, we can we get can a get... lot. And... Ooh, why don't we sell that uh, that hull beam? Just there what we thinking. go. And we're going to go ahead and fix Oop. the rest, and... Pick up... Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Might as well pick Buy up that it. one fuel. Yep. So that's going to be that. All right, cool thing, cloaking. So we're going to do this. We're going to power that up. And, oh, wait. Um, <laughs> Lido? Why don't you power down the breach for the Lido and then toss it into the, uh, shield. the shields? There you go. Yep, okay. So the nice thing about the cloaking is you see I have this little on thing. Um, when we are fighting, uh, we can cloak. The nice thing about cloaking is our weaponry will charge. However, the enemies will not. Um, so while we're cloaked, they can't charge up. It gives us a nice little advantage, with which, in addition to shields, um, will keep us safe for a good long while. Another thing with um, cloaking is, if they fire, uh, let's say our, our Zoltan shields are down and they have you know, a bunch of missiles. If they fire, we can cloak. At the time that they fire, go cloaked, and that will give us 100% evade. So, there's Ooh, that. That is so, nice. That, that's interesting that you need to make that uh, call whether you want to save your cloaking for like a missile dodge or if you want to just activate it right away to get uh, as much delay on their system charging as possible. Mm -hmm. I guess if yeah. you're good enough you'd be able to look at their ship and tell from their actual 
physical ship if they've got any missile type weapons on there. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to see them. Like uh, you'll see that you know here's my Lido, here is my heavy laser, and then here's my Hubbard beam. So, mm -hmm. and uh, when when you see them as green, that means that they're ready to fire. So, be aware. So, okay. Um, on that note, we're done with this sector. Next time we head on. See you guys.